So welcome to today's session. <clears throat> and it's on uh, uh, lunar eclipse and we've got the full moon. And they said it's a big shifting day. Uh, energy, um, one of the biggest for this year to shift the energies for the next six months. So those of us uh, that will want the change, this is the pivotal point that we've been waiting for. And it's not for the faint-hearted. Um, it's not pretty. Um, and the, there's a lot of symptoms that a number of people are experiencing. Um, and those who are going through whatever you are going through and experiencing not such joyful experiences. Um, may this session today also be some kind of healing for you. And we'll, it, we'll see what the meditation is going to bring for us. Still have got no clue. Like, I, I, I never know what we're going to do in meditation. And after I do the meditation, I have to wreck my brain to give it a title. <laughs> I have to remember, oh, yes, I can say everything that we did. What will I call this? <laughs> it's not that a title comes to me beforehand or because I just follow Spirit's guidance. So, so um, it's uh, as a surprise to me as it's a surprise to you. But I'm sure Spirit has got something special in store for us today. So. I will just allow um, that to manifest her in a way that it needs to. Um, and yeah, so we'll start. So yesterday, um, <clears throat> when I had a quiet moment, oh yeah, I started putting all my crystals out to here that I'm going to sell for um, to manifest uh, that which I need. Um, so there's rows and rows of them and they were blessed by the moonlight last night and all this uh, powerful energies. Today I'm going to wash them and I'm going to love them and I'm going to ask uh, the ones in Joburg that the healers that need some crystals, uh, if they want to come and buy some or those that need healing or those that just need prettiness or just need some of the energies. Um, yesterday I went around with the pendulum and asked, would you like to go to Durban or would you like to bless somebody here? And I've split. Only the ones that wants to go to Durban with me is um, now on the one side, but they have to downsize. And uh, the ones uh, that would like to bless the Durban people are, um, are nearly ready for rehoming to uh, what is it? Um, uh, just a, a, a place where they will be loved and cherished as much as I loved and cherished them. So yeah. So uh, the the reason why I say that is I then uh, of course yes uh, chose the crystal oracle deck because I've been working with all my crystals. And um, uh, the crystal that came up is a calcite crystal, and. Um, a lot of the crystals outside here is calcite crystals. So um, I'm now going to read you the message that the calcite crystals brings us today. So I thought there's no coincidences and it's it's because I, I thought, how am I going to tell people how good these cal calcite crystals are? Because uh, I mean, I've been, um, I think Barbara's also got one in her house. Um, so, so, and it is a yellow one. Uh, as well, in your guesses. So I'll read you the message that the calcite crystals brings. So it uh, brings energy, it brings vitality, <clears throat> enhanced memory, study, communication, and expansion. And that is uh, the core message for us, for our group today, and anybody that chooses to listen to this recording. Okay. So the message that this card comes with is your energy levels are, are on, a, on a increase and it will be very good. <laughs> it will be very good that after this blip 
um, that our energy levels uh, will be on the increase again. And so it's like Anita said, the, the energy went like down and we experienced down now. But uh, luckily with everything that goes down, it has to go up again. So yes. Um, so this is uh, the, the promise of the, 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 uh, the crystal brings us. Um, and we'll soon feel a newfound uh, sense of vitality and enthusiasm for life. Who wants that? <laughs> yes, we all, <laughs> all hands up. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, an exciting uh, new venture is in store. Uh, you will find yourself communicating your ideas and your feelings to others with clarity and uh, um, certainty. People will pay attention and will want to be part of your new venture. Yeah, and that's uh, why I felt so drawn to go um, back to Durban uh, because uh, that is where I feel it more of. <clears throat> because I can still do online sessions with all Joburg clients and when I come and visit my kids, I can be here, uh, but it's, um, yes. So CalCIS is also about uh, the expanded awareness, uh, which stems from knowledge, study, and learning. <coughs> and we are all still learning. Um, sometimes I, 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 I go off after these um, severe learning curves uh, that I've been through. I thought, okay, um, maybe I'll pace uh, these learning sessions uh, once every five years because. Holy camoly, I don't know if I can handle it on a shorter term basis. I know I want things to speed up, but sometimes after this, it's like, okay, can we just go at an easier pace now? Um, I'll maybe sign up for another experience in a few years. I mustn't say that, but it's like just how I'm feeling now. And luckily we change our minds. Sometimes we have amnesia. And amnesia will actually be a very nice experience at this moment in time. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. This magical crystal will um, assist, you, uh, assist you in your studies and enhance your memory. It will also help you put your knowledge um, to good use in ways to expand possibilities uh, for your life. So yes, um, um, I can relate to that. I, I need to um, re-evaluate and see how, how these experiences uh, can help me in ways to expand uh, the possibilities in my, uh, in my life. And hopefully for you too. Okay, it's my wish for everyone. Um, because sometimes we go through setbacks in life and... So, and and we stop dreaming or we stop thinking that things are possible. And I know there's infinite possibilities deep down at a soul level. And uh, sometimes this human can have pity parties and think, okay, there's no more possibilities and feel really, really, really sorry for herself. Um, but it's, a, I, 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 I know. So, and it's some wise wisdom that Maria gave me last night was, um, not uh, after, like, I want to say the setback, it feels like uh, I'm back at square one of the, the grieving process. And it is, to understand, you can't, I guess, sometimes jump to forgiveness too quickly. And I have to go through each stage of, of that. So just see each stage through, experience it, because uh, sometimes uh, those less favorable experiences of anger and frustration and whatever propels you and gives you the energy and the, and the adrenaline that you need to make those moves that you need to make. So it's to see it for what it is and so sometimes only in hindsight you see the bigger picture. Um, I really, really am going to have a bowl of popcorn ready <laughs> with those Clarity comes because uh, I really like to see the, the 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 meaning of this when I'm when I've created some distance and can see things from a higher or different vantage point, and really would like to 
know more of what my soul signed up for, why, how, and um, and if it's a gig, I, I know it's to clear stuff. Um, but really, I hope the line is <laughs> a lot shorter um, because I, I, I guess I don't necessarily want too many of these um, experiences, although I don't want to come back for any more. So it's, it's like, okay, let's, let, let's, let's, let's brave ourselves. I, I draw a lot of uh, um, cards of strength and courage and I think, okay, so how much strength and courage and uh, stuff do you need and how much stronger do I actually want to become? <laughs> So yeah, I uh, see all hands, everyone's taking that message, <laughs> except if you want to share something, anybody wants to share something, no, cool, okay, so we'll go on to the reading. Um, so the, I just opened the book, again, the reading from uh, Crown's Parable, and the, the, um, the parable that sprang up is uh, number 10, and it's uh, the infant's question. And it feels like, uh, so 10 is also um, a one, meaning it's, it's a new cycle, it's a new, um, new beginning. And it feels like we are back at block one, and sometimes we think, oh, Damn, I thought I've been, uh, I've been here before, uh, um, or whatever it is. But um, when Kran explains uh, the now, it, it's like an infinity uh, sign. And um, it's an infinity sign is uh, there's like four, there's a number of layers that go like this. And that's what they call parallel realities and parallel lifetimes. So although for ease, yeah, on Earth we talk about past lives, but it's actually not past lives because it's more parallel realities that they run co -herder. So it's an infinity symbol uh, way, and the timelines are, uh, run next to uh, one another. And uh, there are, I want to say, similar lessons, experiences that happens at a point. And it actually happens across all the use, all the use and all the timelines. And when you manage to overcome it, to shift it, you shift it not just for this lifetime, then you shift it for all the all yourselves. And that's what um, if if there is something like that that has roots in a past life or parallel reality, if you can't shift it in this life, I mean, and for instance, you use a past life regression therapist like Vanessa or myself, if you then go to that and you shift it where it started or understand it, get understanding, because some of the stuff that happens to us is not of this lifetime. Um, some of this. We have enough to deal with in this lifetime, but some stuff uh, it is from from way back when we had other experiences <clears throat> especially with certain souls so to have a high understanding of what played out and to clear that energy you then clear it for all the use and then you go on to the next experience um, so so we are all starting over in a different way in a different aspect of our life, some have moved in a new home that feels like home. I so miss um, a place that I can call home. Uh, after I've moved from uh, Westville, I haven't been able to find it yet. And I've been moving from place to place every six months. And I realized there's not another place that I can move yeah, that I will get that. I, I just haven't been able to manage that. Um, and uh, having moved here now with family, not even yet, I feel at, 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 at home. So I, I know um, I need to go back where the environment supports me. <laughs> the environment here doesn't support me. And I said, I'll come here for a short-term contract and, and um, the two-year contract was extended to five years and I made it to two and a half. And no, I, I actually choose not to. 
um, luckily with this um, um, virus, a lot more people are online savvy. So that has been a good thing for me and my business. <laughs> Because a lot more people is allowing online sessions and and like these Zoom sessions. So I now I can still stay in contact with people. I can just choose to place myself now where I want to be, where I call my base. And I can still go to come to Joburg and I can still do things. But it's a, it's like to see, and it's for all of us. So we need to be happy where we are and and start something new with what we have. But um. But our ultimate happiness is is important, or as much as that that we can create. And I look forward to be able to see the sea again, and you guys again, and all that. So yeah. So the infant's question, and um, uh, I'll I'll start the the parable. So the author's note is almost every mum. I know with an infant I has secretly wished uh, that she could have a two a, a fluent two way adult conversation uh, with uh, this uh, uh, precious entity. There is so much uh, to tell a child. See if you can glean the real meaning of the following parable about a magical conversation between a mother and an in, her infant son. This is a fun story with an important message. So here it goes. The human mother was uh, uh, um, startled indeed when the large male angel appeared to her in the laundry room. Um, What are you doing here? You expected me in the kitchen? asked the angel. No, I didn't expect you at all. Uh, The mother answered, why are you here? To grant your request, said the angel. Uh, As if uh, it were a common thing to appear in a human's home. I don't remember any request, exclaimed the mother. I hope I asked for something good, that uh, you didn't uh, just uh, overheard me swearing. (laughs) 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 Uh, I must say, sometimes I think the angels must have fun with uh, hearing our conversations and they must laugh because uh, I think uh, some things must be very funny when you see it from the other side. They must go like this also. But they must find it amusing. Uh, I, I, I say things all the time uh, when I'm mad. No, no, uh, replied the angel. Remember when you, you were looking into um, the eyes of your son and mumber? If only uh, we could talk to each other. Well, I'm here to arrange that. Tomorrow night... When you go into uh, your son's nursery, nursery, I will be there and allow you to speak to him uh, and he to you. You will have a brief time when you can speak, uh, when um, he can speak to you with uh, the intellect of an adult and the language of an adult. I'll tell you more when I see you then. And with that, the angel disappeared. Slightly to the left of the dryer and up a vent. The mother was not frightened. After all, she believed in angels and had been to the local angel shop many times. She had no way of knowing that real angels uh, don't like angel shops. All the, popu- uh, all the popularity had taken the fun out of appearing before people. Some mothers uh, even wanted to know where the angel got its costume. Um, very insulting to a real life angel. 
the mother didn't sleep much that night. And uh, when she put her six-month-old infant uh, to bed early in the evening, she looked deep into his eyes and said, tomorrow you and I will actually get to speak to each other. Um, she was excited indeed. He drilled in response. She carefully crafted uh, what uh, um, she would say to him. Where does one begin? How long will she have? Would uh, she be able to communicate um, uh, the, uh, the, the, the difficult things in life? She started by thinking of all the things she, she wanted to tell a child. Um, uh, 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 just uh, starting out in life. Um, about how a, st a stove is hot and a, a pretty uh, fire can hurt. But wait, uh, the angel said uh, that the child would speak uh, with an adult mind. Uh, that would change everything. She would need to tell him how to handle girls and how to treat a broken heart and how not to trust everyone and how to drive, how not to drive too fast. Oh my, there's so much to tell him about being a human, she thought. The next evening, evening uh, the time for a magic discussion slowly approached. She waited uh, with her infant son um, at her side in the nursery until the appointed hour when the angel appeared again. Nice to see you both. The angel quickly said, here are the rules of the conversation. Mom, you can only answer. Son, you can only ask three questions. Then it's over. And with that, the angel again disappeared. It's uh, uh, this time down at the furnace gate. Great. Uh, this changes everything, <clears throat> thought the mother in silence while looking at her son. Perhaps uh, I'm hallucinating. I'll bet my son simply goes to sleep now. Instead, the uh, infant stood up. Mother, said the infant. It's a magical day indeed that, that brings us together like this. What a joy to be able to speak to you at this point in my life. The mother stood up at um, attention with uh, her mouth dropping in amazement. Uh, she even drooled a bit. Only three questions uh, uh, I can ask, the boy continued uh, from his crib. I want to know so much the boy was thinking about his first question as uh, his mother was uh, taking it all in. This is real, she thought. My son is talking to me and if he were as if he was all grown up. What a miracle. What a gift. She could hardly contain herself uh, waiting for her son's first question. Would it be about philosophy or religion? Perhaps eh, he would want to know get the best advisor to guide him into a good career. Or maybe he wanted to know how he could choose uh, the best mate. Um, one who would stick around uh, longer than hers did. The boy looked into his mother's eyes uh, and asked her the first question. Mother. I have laid outside uh, uh, this house on my back and was amused at the sky. Why is it blue? It was all the better could to not shut. You wasted your first question. Who cares why the sky is blue? But uh, the mother was uh, so in love with her son that she patiently answered the question according to the rules. She explained how the atmosphere and the oxygen molecules refract the light of the sun and uh, turn it blue. 
um, at least uh, uh, that what she believed. It uh, sounded good anyway. She anxiously waited for the next question. The next uh, one uh, was as uh, to be better, she thought. So perhaps he would like to know what he should do with his life in order not to end up homeless or in a, a delinqu delinquent friends. Mother, my second question is this. Although I have been here only six months, I notice that sometimes it is hot outside and sometimes it is cold. Why is this? The mother was appalled. Another question wasted on dumb stuff. How could this be? She wondered. The son was innocent and alert. His question was uh, um, in, important to him and uh, she um, uh, treasured the, this magical time they could have together. Slowly, she tried to tell him about uh, the earth and uh, the sun and how the earth tilts slightly and uh, it's, it orbits the sun, causing winter and summer, cold and hot. Finally, it was time for the last question. They had been at it for almost 30 minutes and so little had actually been communicated. Mother, I love you, exclaimed uh, the son. But now I know you are really my mother. Oh, but how do I know you are really my mother? Uh, do you have some kind of proof? <clears throat> what kind of question was this? Um, where did it come from? Who else uh, would be his mother? Hasn't uh, uh, she cared for him every day of his life? What a disappointment uh, the session had been. She almost uh, um, uh, wanted to walk away and go back to the laundry room where this had all started. She thought of uh, how she was going um, to sh uh, shove the angel in the dryer the next time she saw him. Her son, um, uh, his innocent eyes are wide open and alert, was uh, waiting for a reply. She started crying but held out um, her hands and said, look at my fingers, they are just like yours. My feet, my face look just like yours. My expressions of joy and love are just like yours. I am truly your mother. We have the same eyes and mouth, look, with that, the, the child was satisfied and slowly laid himself down on his mat and went to sleep. This was it. This miracle of communication had come and gone and uh, the mother ha had not had a meaningful conversation with uh, her beautiful son. What happened? What went wrong? She spent a great deal of time thinking about uh, it all. And she mourned the passing of such an event without um, anything um, substantive being transferred. Then the angel appeared again, up through the bathroom drain. Go away, the mother said before the angel could say anything. What a disappointment you turned out to be. I gave you the time the angel said kindly. I did not design the questions. What good was it? Why didn't my son ask anything important? He told me he would have the mind of an adult, but he asked the questions of a child. Um, you have tricked me um, with a, your so-called miracle. Dear one, the angel replied, Although your son was given the, the language of an intellect and an adult, 
He had only the wisdom and experience of six months he had been here on earth. His questions were therefore the most meaningful ones that he could think of. And you answered them all, even the last one, which was uh, uh, postured in fear. You answered correctly. In addition, you transmitted your love to him while you were together. And uh, you were not uh, impatient with him. He did his best uh, um, and uh, was honest. What could you ask for? What more could you ask for? The mother sat down. She had thought of that. The son had uh, muttered up, mustered up uh, uh, the best questions he could come up with. He could, uh, how could he know uh, what to ask her if he didn't uh, have the wisdom she had? And if he had uh, somehow been given the wisdom, he would have not had to ask anything. With any more communication, the angels uh, left her for the final time. This time, out the window, the mother returned to the crib and uh, um, spent a long time looking at a precious son. You did your best, my son, she said uh, in a quiet voice. It was uh, good uh, that uh, you had time, that we had time for a talk. The end of the parable. So the author's postscript goes like this. So did you get the, the real meaning of uh, this little, fun little story? You and I do not have uh, the mind of God while we are here on the planet. And yet uh, we have uh, the gift of being able to speak with uh, the masters. How patient they must be with us as we flounder around with questions that have no bearing on the real reason we are here. How can we know what to ask? Pran gave us the magical question right after the story was given in a life session. Coming in a moment. The interesting thing about uh, the story is that, that God answers our questions, even if uh, they are meaningless to our lives uh, and the, the planet's purpose. Have you ever read uh, a book about uh, the lineage of a vast amount of entities around us? There are some books uh, that uh, gives us one chapter and verse, the names uh, and the battles of how the earth came about came to be. It tells uh, how the players were and uh, what happened and uh, to them long before there was uh, even an atmosphere on the planet. And if you read uh, these books, did they, um, they give you a warm, fuzzy feeling inside? Did they, they make you understand uh, what to do with your life? Do you know, uh, do you now have a clear direction about which way to turn to solve the problems of being human in this age? I'll bet not. Your book just gave you the answers uh, to the uh, metaphysical child's question, why is the sky blue? So many times uh, we are compelled uh, to ask uh, God to prove that God is God. Uh, show me this and show me that. How can I know you are real? How can I know you are God? Uh, this is a, uh, when made in his image is often explained. And it's a, when we get to understand the metaphor of love with a, the image of God being an imprint of love and compassion, we each come with it. Think of how insulting this question is to the angels 
and uh, for the exalted ones who have been at our side from birth and yet though the answers are always compassionate and love and loving even the answers however don't get us from a to b nor do they help us uh, through unsatisfying uh, relationships meaningless jobs health problems financial issues or family and community difficulties. Crown tells us uh, that there is only one real question that can make a difference in our lives and change us dramatically. When we sit before God in meditation or prayer, um, there is a two-way communication going. Some say that prayer is when we speak to God. And meditation is when we listen. The next time you have an opportunity to speak and listen, uh, ask the following question. Dear God, what is it you wish me to know? There is no greater question than this. And it reflects your wisdom of spiritual, and of spiritual awareness like no other. If a child had asked this, the mother would still be answering to this day, and the child would have been far wiser in his growth. The end. Okay. So, what are you taking from this parable? How is it speaking to you? What is it reminding you of? Or are you grateful that you have asked those questions and got some good answers? How talk to me. Barbara. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about something else actually. While you were reading that, I mean, I got the, I got, I got the, um, the message, obviously, and, and the understanding that we can't ask questions about things that we have no experience of. Um, and so, you know, we don't have the wisdom because we don't know about those things. So we can't ask questions if we don't know. But the other thing I was thinking about is how things kind of, you put something on the portal the other day about how things kind of keep moving forward and as one thing comes to an end, something else, um, you move into something else. I can't remember exactly yeah. how it was worded, but you know what, you know the one I mean. I put yes. it on sometime last week, yeah. And I just thought about that really. I was thinking about how things just keep, nothing stays the same for sure. Um, yeah. And how it just keeps moving and one thing ends, another thing starts and um, and we have this, like almost like a movie playing out. I mean, it's, it's our lives, but it's a movie. It and is. and we we don't always we don't always know um, the right questions to ask about the next stage of our movie. So we have to just sort of trust that the one that does know is going to make it happen. That was what I got from it anyway. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for that in additional insight. Yes. Anybody else would like to say what sprang to mind when you listen to the parable? Okay. Have I left you all speechless, Vanessa? <laughs> um, yeah, it, it just emphasized for me how we really know nothing. Um, yes. We think we do, in and in at our level, we do, but in the bigger scheme of things, we have no clue. So we are so um, embroiled in our own little world that we, we can't see the bigger picture. And it's amazing. It's very reassuring to know that um, there's so much more that is out there and that the universe is looking after us. We've got the parent. We've got the mother um, looking after us and making sure we don't actually have to do much. We just have to 
exist and somebody else will, the universe will take care of us. So yes, that was my take on it. Thanks, Fiona. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. Oops. Anybody else would like to share something? Okay. So for me also, yeah, it just shows the ignorance of the child. And, and, and that's why I like these meditations and I try and create that environment for us to ask and to receive. And, um, and it, 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 it's an opportunity for us to communicate today and to receive that which we really need. Sometimes we think we would like to have all these mundane, unimportant questions answered because uh, that's going to um, uh, give us, gives us clarity. But these opportunities are so far and few between. Yes, we can communicate with spirits on a daily basis and we can foster that, um, that bond and that um, connectivity, but sometimes Life just runs away with us and the, the chores and the responsibilities and the, the 3D stuff that we need to do and we forget to just sit and receive. So these special times uh, that we get this opportunity, it's not to waste it and to really feel what needs to be felt. Again, it's like, uh, like the last few sessions, uh, especially with Barbara and whatever, being in that energy and feeling the love. That's ultimately what... I want to say our, our soul parents, our spiritual parents, are ones us to feel. And where Crown says uh, that when, um, when it explained, made in the image of God, God is love. And we're made in that image of love. We are the love. And uh, it's to remind ourselves. Sometimes uh, um, we still need to move beyond the the limitations uh, that we think of uh, as, as a human self because we are part of that creator. We're part of that source energy. We just think we meek and mild and um, have certain limitations, but it's truly to embrace it. And for those dealing with aches and pains and uh, not being physically well, just embrace that energy. And anything that is not in alignment with that, just detach, release, and let go of that at a deeper level. Um, anything that's not in alignment with love, that that light, that that creator energy, any 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 judgment, any any blame, any negative energies, any. Any exhaustion of any levels. So for me, I've been emotionally exhausted. Um, so, and, and we go through various levels of exhaustion, physical exhaustion, emotional exhaustion, spiritual exhaustion, um, mental exhaustion. And it's just to refill ourselves, refill our cups, refill our bodies with that light. When I read the poster this morning before we started the, the, the session, it was that uh, this eclipse energy is asking us to absorb more light. Um, so uh, the... Eclipse is where light goes away. And there's a dark period. But it's for us to activate our light bodies to fill ourselves with more light, to activate the DNA um, more so that we can truly shine and that we can truly be who we truly are in our next evolutionary step forward from this um, cocoon that we've been in. Um, and uh, in the, this cocoon, there's been morphing and changing and some has been visible to us and some hasn't. And uh, we've been going through various growing pains. Um, and I remember many years ago when I was thinking about why do we go through so much heartache and pain and stuff that we tend to go through. And it's like the analogy that was uh, given to me in meditation once was um, that 
was when we, uh, athletes want to build muscles or um, bodybuilders want to build their muscle, they tear the muscle and then they it builds up again, tear and build up. Now I was thinking of um, my heart and I thought, okay, it tears to a million pieces and then it builds up again and it actually just becomes stronger. And then it tears and breaks in a million pieces and then it becomes stronger. But so sometimes we think, uh, okay, it's uh, not so nice for experience, but it actually allows more love to come in um, and more light to shine out. And that is ultimately um, what certain experiences brings us. So they say what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. And it's something that anybody that's close to feeling dead by the physical ailments or that they, they get, it's not what you want to hear really the last thing that you still want to hear um, is like when I drew the strength card or I got strength messages repetitively enough for the last few months I thought okay but how strong do I want to become <laughs> um, really it's like what do I have to go to to become this strong do I actually want to be this strong it was like ah. um, but yeah we don't uh, always see the strengths that, that we get from going through that experience and what we are able to. And it's not necessarily physical strengths, um, especially if you, if you have physical ailments, it's to show you the other strengths that you do have, the connection to spirit, or the con the, your spiritual connection, because sometimes things stops you in your cracks, in your body so that you give attention elsewhere because you actually have no other choice. <laughs> it, it gives you no other choice but look elsewhere or find strength from elsewhere or um, find inspiration or connection or connectivity or whatever. Um, and it's, 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 it's just then to allow that... Um, parts of you then to be active and the other parts to the physical to be a little bit quiet and the spiritual to take over um, because sometimes when we shift things on a spiritual level and so many times I've seen it um, in meditation or in um, setting intense um, all that if I've shifted it on the spiritual it shows up in the physical it, it, that's how manifestation works we first, uh, we think um, it works from the in uh, uh, that way, but it actually works uh, that way. Um, I don't know how else to explain it, but there's always a physical manifestation of what we do on the spiritual realm. So it's to start there. But sometimes people are so busy in doing, 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 and then I think they're going to get more done. But sometimes we need to step out of our own way because we create um, obstacles or limitations or we think it can just be done uh, one way. So I'll lie in my bed and I'll think, okay, so how else can I create uh, um, uh, the funds that I need to be able to make this move? And then the crystal starts talking to me and it's like, okay, um, last week you spoke about um, detachment and letting go. And we are also now ready for that experience. Go, go through, come look at us, come talk to us and, uh, and see. So there's always participation, there's always help, there's always something that can be done, but sometimes you need to see it from another vantage point and you won't necessarily think about that in your thinking state. You need to quiet and connect on a spiritual state and then, uh, then the answers comes to you and you can see more possibilities available to you. Um, so yeah, Barbara. Yeah, I was just having another thought while while we were sitting here, and I was just thinking, you know, spirits got an amazing sense of humour. <laughs> they do. You know, it must be hilarious actually <laughs> watching us like school sports get sports day for five year olds watching us. <laughs> Jumping through the lessons that we've set for ourselves. And, yeah, coming out the other end. It, it, it must be hilarious. <laughs> That's what I want to say. 
<laughs> if only we can have the same sense of humour, and that's why they say, um, yeah. uh, uh, it's to lighten up. We take these things so seriously, and it devastates us, and it, it does all kinds of things. But yes, I, I also think it, 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 it must be very, very funny yeah. on, on, on that side. So, yeah. Okay. Anybody else would like to say something that has come up for them while we were talking? Next. I think um, just uh, just quite simply, it's it's fantastic that um, it's a it's a fantastic reminder rather that that question, when asked every time, will give us the correct answer Everything for us. Need. Exactly, and. Mm -hmm. I, You've mentioned that to us years ago, and still, for whatever reason, I battle to hold on to that, and I and I rack my brain for the questions that I, I need to ask. But in fact, that is just the only question. So it was. It's just a great reminder. I'm very glad that it came up because that's it. It just. Uh, it's that easy. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Because because you see. Okay, what fun, the spirit reminded me of years ago was like the answer is created before the question is even created. But sometimes we yeah. we, we don't even, we haven't even figured out what the question is because <laughs> we think we know what the questions are. But no, um, and the 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 solutions are always there. Nikki, I love the the chair bed. To, swing thing that you are sitting in, it's like, would love one. Yeah, Dave made this for me years ago for Christmas, but I just can't get it to turn to face the exact angle I'm wanting to turn to. It. <laughs> I keep wanting to go back to the same spot. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get it figured out. Okay, yeah, it goes again. Okay. It goes again. Or, or maybe Spirit is just uh, forcing you to Spirit wants look at the look look point. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's something there that you need to see maybe. that you don't want to see. Maybe. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> it's like we, we think we know where to look at, but we don't always know. Yeah. But in any case. Okay. So are you ready for today's meditation? Righty. And I welcome you to today's lunar eclipse full moon meditation. I want you to get yourself now comfortable and relax. Taking in the, this tone, this vibration, this frequency in and through and around your body as you just relax. Wherever you hold any tension or stress, where any, any uneasy feelings they experience uh, during this week. Just detach, release and let go of that energy now. Breathe it out, breathe it out, breathe it out. Let it go, set it free, let it be. Slow, deep body breaths. Expand your low abdomen as you breathe in. And contract your low abdomen as you breathe out. For with each in-breath, you're taking in the, the new levels of consciousness and awareness that, that is streaming through in light codes to you today. And with your out breath, you release all that no longer serves you in order for you to be shining lighter and lighter, brighter and brighter. The more you exhale, the more you feel your body relax, totally relax.
and the body is softening and your shoulders is dropping and the tension is leaving. And calm is coming over you. Allowing yourself now to raise in soul consciousness higher and higher until you reach the left. And as you enter the left, the level that you are meant to go to today will spring to mind. I want you to press that level and feel the left rise, 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 up, 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 until it reaches uh, that level. And as uh, the doors open, you exit. Approaching a golden gate. It opens on your arrival. I need you to move beyond the golden gate. Taking in slow, deep breaths. as you appreciate uh, the beauty all around you. I want you to find uh, the sacred space within the, the, this environment for you to go and uh, rest in. I want you then to either lie down or sit in your sacred space, whatever is most comfortable for you. I'm now asking that the heavenly Blessed rays of God pour down upon your body, your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, and your spiritual body, recharging, revitalizing, and re-energizing you on a continual basis. With your in-breath, I want you just to absorb more light quotient to the maximum uh, that your body can sustain. I want you to take these blessed rays of God now to all those particles in the body that is in this is broken, tired or fatigued, ill or not in harmony. 
want you to breathe in uh, these blessed rays of God to all the particles in your life that needs these rays now for great, greater clarity and awareness for you to stand in your power and knowing what is the next step is for your life. I'm calling in uh, your higher light of your higher self of the light and your mighty I am presence, your guardian angels, your mission council, your ascension council, all of the light to surround you now and all the light being guides that work with you and through you and helps you with your ascension process. asking your team of light to surround you and cocoon you in the energy of love. And you have this opportunity now to communicate with spirit, your highest teachers and guides. And getting uh, the answers, the clarity, the direction, whatever it is uh, that you are needing in this moment in time opening up the portal to communication and this is your time what is it do you want me to know
And there's uh, the images, there's the words, the feelings. I impart it to you. Just consciously breathe that in. Absorb the love that you are showered with. The wisdom, the clarity, the understanding. Just breathe it into the fiber of your entire being. And receive more. Becoming more and more at peace, more and more at ease. Feel your cellular structure vibrate with more light, more energy. Strengthening those parts within your body that needs the strength, the healing, the repair work. Feel the gentle and loving healing of spirit of these beautiful rays. Restructuring uh, the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies. gentle alignment now of your will with the will of the divine. Feel your whole body being filled with light. And just bathe in this light. Being shared with light and sacred geometry. Patterning your life body, your Merkaba. And activating uh, the parts of the DNA that's still dormant. With the light codes uh, streaming to you now. Choosing to remember your divine plan for yourself. That your soul and spirit is co-creating for you in your next evolutionary step forward.
No, I was kidding. Uh, the, these light cards, the blessed rays of God is available to each man, woman and child on this earth plane, to each sentient being, to each animal, bird and sea creature, engulfing the earth now in these beautiful blessed rays of God. Bringing great healing for humanity. And the earth in one unity consciousness. Knowing that everything is perfect and exactly the way it needs to be. In those moments in time. And the divine unfolding of the, the greater plan is uh, happening in perfect timing. Being perfectly orchestrated. Asking for a healing within a humanity's consciousness and awareness, especially emotional healing, physical healing, mental healing, and spiritual healing. May the love of God be felt in the hearts of men and women and children. May the love of God be felt and experienced in the minds of men, women and children. May the love of God be felt within the spirit of men, women and children. May the new earth template unfold in a beautiful, graceful, harmonious and loving way. And may it start with you. May you feel revitalized, re-energized. And gently you stand up from your sacred space and feel a great energetic hug from the, the team of light with you. Ever walking to the left side, to the right side, behind you and in front of you, ever guiding and protecting. And guiding you back uh, to the Golden Gate. Know that in any stage uh, you may come back to this environment to receive this. As you exit the gate, you get back into the lift. 
and feel the lift come down, 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 down to the bottom. Descending, descending, descending. Going back in through your crown chakra, into your body. Now surrounding yourself with a beautiful golden bubble of light. See this golden bubble of light coming down the front of your body, the back of your body, the left side and the right side of your body and gently tuck beneath your feet, two feet below you. And uh, see a grounding cord, any color of your choosing, which take deep down into the earth, into the crystal heart of Mother Earth. And wrap your grounding cord around the crystal of your choosing. Feel those crystalline energies coming back up your grounding cord and into your golden bubble of light. Re-energizing your body on an ongoing basis throughout today. Allow this crystalline light to be absorbed and fold within this golden bubble, within your emotional, mental and spiritual bodies, including your physical body. When you are ready, take three slow, deep breaths to come fully into your body. Start rotating your hands, rotating your feet, stretching and making sure that you properly back into your body. And when you are ready, you may slowly open your eyes. And back fully into this now moment. And with this, I bid you the most magical, beautiful day. And then I would love to hear what you experience in your meditation. How are you feeling now? Barbara. I thought uh, I'm feeling very relaxed. I got to tell you, I found it a very, very, re I was able to relax much more than I am sometimes Good. in meditations. Yeah. Yeah. And I was just thinking about happiness really and what happiness is and what causes it and and, um, and obviously releasing the things that make you unhappy mm. definitely is a good start and gratitude and of course I thought uh, self-love I think is another thing that um, yeah. makes people happy um, because if you don't love yourself obviously other people don't love you and you can't be happy so I think self-love as well as gratitude for the things you have make you happy. And being around people that love you, that makes you happy as well. So I just thought about happiness. It was just happiness I meditated on. A lovely meditation. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else would like to uh, share what they experienced? Nikki? Yeah, also, it, uh, I felt so relaxed. It just, it really... It, got me straight away into a totally relaxed state which sometimes I battle to get to be especially when my body hurts it just so it was quite that was just divine all on its own <laughs> yay there was, oh, there was a crazy understanding of, of the uh, what is it called the sacred geometry I don't understand any of that it does uh, but it was just a crazy kind of picture of how the sake, and this is probably something you guys will understand already, but I've only just got it, how my sacred geometry is connected to everybody's and the earth's and blah, 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 and how my healing 
and getting my sacred geometry right affects the world. And, and this is stuff that I read and I hear the words all the time and yeah, yeah, whatever. But it just kind of, it hit home today. It was quite, wow. quite exciting. Yeah, it was quite exciting. Yes. Um, and then also just a, a deep sense of joy. Deep, deep, deep sense of joy. Oh, and yeah. bizarrely, when the meditation first started, I saw noses. I don't know what that's all about. I saw painted noses, I saw sketched noses, I saw photos of noses, I saw fat noses, I saw my nose. I don't know what that means. So what is the symbolism or what is the, the saying what about... What is it about a nose? Yeah, but the, tell me now. So what is the know. saying usually with a nose in it? Isn't it the don't cut your nose off to spite your face or something like that? But isn't there also one about le leading with the nose or? Leading with the nose. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I need to, yeah, I have no idea what the nose was trying to tell me. That's, that's one for, for playing with. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you though. That was a lovely meditation. Really lovely. And, and I think you can also benefit by, um, uh, in your art, bringing sacred geometry in. Yeah. Playing with it. And yep. seeing because you strengthen then your healing. Okay. Through that. And help humanity with that as well, the others that get to see it. Yes. So it's, so it's silent, positive triggers. Fantastic. Thank you. I look forward to see how your art transforms from this day forward. <laughs> yeah, me too. And your body heal. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Anybody else would like to share what they experience in meditation? Yeah, me. <laughs> Anita. Yes, it was really a beautiful, peaceful meditation. It allowed me to be in the moment, to be mindful of the moment, which is something I've not actually had previously. So I've actually enjoyed it. Yes, very relaxed after the meditation. I thought about you, Barbara and Maria, sending you guys lots of love um, and healing. So you guys were in my meditation. Yeah. I think I've raised myself in vibration there. So thanks a lot. Good. I'm Good. glad to hear that. Thank you. Anybody else? Yeah, I just, um, thanks Anita for, <laughs> for those, those thoughts and prayers. And um, I also just felt incredibly relaxed and peaceful and I could feel um, sort of almost like vibrations inside my body, inside my cell, just moving around. It was quite unexpected. Uh, so it was a very tangible um, experience today. I could literally feel things going on in my body, but I wasn't sort of tempted to try to work it out or understand it. I just let it be and let it do what it needed to do. So now, sort of after it, um, feeling deeply resourced compared to what I to how I felt when I started off. I didn't go looking for it. It just, that was what, what happened. So it was really, really, very, very, very peaceful. Thank you. Yay. I'm very happy for that. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Alrighty. So for me also, I, I did it with you guys. Um, loved it. Uh, loved just feeling the energies. And, um, yeah, one thing that came to me was um, that sometimes uh, things in our life has the ability to break us if we if we allow it. Uh, but we have the choice in how what we do with the energy. Um, uh, do we stop the good stuff in our life, like believing and trusting and um, our spiritual connection and sometimes uh, we go through various difficult lessons, but it is what we do with the energy afterwards. It's, um, 
and I, I, I felt a renewed sense of connection and trust in the divine. Um, yeah, so that was good. I am filled with more light um, and consciously being aware to send it wherever it's needed to you guys, to um, everybody that has hard connections with you, everybody on earth, and um, just imparting that, um, that peaceful feeling. Because there's new realities that we are busy co-creating uh, as a collective, yeah. And I'm in a, I'm in a bit, I'm in a better space now. So thank you for doing this with me, and bless you, and love you, and uh, wish you have a magical week, and may it shift in ways and degrees that um, is so positive and for your highest good. Thanks, Fiona. Back at you. Thank you. Fiona. Yeah, thanks, Fiona. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.